Hi guys, so today's video is Hi guys, so today's video is going to be my makeup collection video as you can probably tell by the title. Now, before I do anything, I want to start off by saying that I'm not trying to brag about all the makeup I have in any way because I know that most of this stuff is drugstore and to be honest, I don't think I have that much. Um especially like if I weren't a dancer, which I am, then yes, maybe it would be a lot. But I am, so it's not that much for me being a dancer and having like recitals and competitions and stuff that I actually use it for. But um, I don't normally wear makeup every day, but I am trying to like use my makeup as much as I can so that I'm not wasting it. But anyway, so instead of me like taking up this whole video, I am going to get on with it. Alright, so this is my makeup bag, and it's just a gold and white bag that I got from Forever 21, and it is very full. Everything seems to fall out of it all the time, so I'll probably need to get a new one because this one's too small. So I will start off with the brushes. Alright, so... Um, I do kind of have a lot of brushes. Well, yeah, I do kind of have a lot of brushes. But, um, so I'm just going to start off by showing you that this is my powder brush. I usually use this to set my foundation or anything. And I have another one. Um, not only do I use this though for setting my foundation and stuff with powder, but I do use it for blush and bronzer sometimes as well. But the reason why I have two is because I went to the store, I got this one, I went back home, and then I used it a couple times, and then I lost it. Then I was freaking out because I really needed it for like my competition or something. So we went back to Target, and then I went home and found my other one. So now I have two. Yeah. Okay. So the next set of brushes I got from my mom. So as I said before, I don't spend a whole lot of money on makeup. Like these brushes right here, bleh, right here, are my mom's, but she gave them to me, so I use them. And I'm not going to go into too much detail about them because they don't have any information on where they are or anything but yeah so then I just have this foundation brush it's kinda like the kind that you'd paint on foundation with instead of like something like this this I I use more often than this one um, just because like I like to apply my foundation in like a circular motion not painting but um, yes these are both from Target this is the Sonia Kashuk Tools brush. Then the next brushes I have are very cheap brushes and they are, I don't even know where they're from, but they're just really cheap brushes, I do know that. And they are like this. Um, this is the blush brush or you can use it like to contour maybe if you want to like go like that or something. And turn it into a fan brush. Um, so there's that one. And then here's a smudging brush and an eyeshadow brush. So yeah, those are just very simple ones. And then I just have these. The Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention that there was also this one that came with it. Um, it is also helpful to pack on eyeshadow to your eyelid. Then I just have more cheap brushes that just look like this. Um, this one I like to use a lot more than uh, these two, but this is just like a small, I don't even know, brush, and then a small sponge eyeshadow brush, which I do not use sponge eyeshadow brushes. I find it easier to use a brush with like hair on it. So the next brushes I'm going to show you are my eyeshadow brushes that I use most of the time because they work very well. But I have this eyeshadow one, and it is like, you can use it as a crease brush, but I find it easier just to like pack on things. And then 
On the other side of it, it is just like a small angled brush that you can use for your eyebrows or eyeliner or anything like that basically. And then it also came with this one. But this one has like a crease brush that I use and I don't really know how to describe it but it's like a tapered brush almost. And then on the other side it has a smudging brush which I do use sometimes. I use this to highlight my brow bone or in the inner corner of my eye to highlight that part too. So the next thing I have is not really a brush but I do use this. It is my eyeshadow. Not eyeshadow. This is my eyebrow brush because it just helps me to shape my eyebrows better. Nothing more to it. So the next three brushes I have are my favorite brushes. They're my most recent brushes but they are my Real Techniques brushes, and I just have this one. It is the Sculpting Brush. I love this one so much, especially for like blending out my concealer around my face or even foundation. I do like it for that as well because it is very easy to do the circular motion that I love. And I love this one. Next brush I have is the Stippling Brush, and I love this one because you can use it for basically anything really. Um, I wouldn't necessarily use it for foundation, but I mean you could. I use this for bronzer most of the time when I want to get it into the crease. But I love that one. And then the next one is probably my favorite one. I love this one so much. Um, this is just the setting brush and I love this one so much I don't know how to tell you enough. But I like to use this to set my under eye concealer. It is perfect for getting like right underneath your eye and it is basically just a tapered brush but I love it so I just got those three from Ulta and then the next brush is a really cheap brush I don't know where I got it well yes I do but I don't know where my mom got it so yes I did get this from my mom as well so I don't spend that much money on my makeup so that is all my brushes I have moving on to my foundation this, I only have one foundation, but this is my foundation. It's the Revlon Colorstay um, foundation. It lasts 24 hours, and it is in the shade Neutral Beige. So it just looks like this. And I do need to get a new one, though, just because this one is a little bit too dark for my skin. So, like, when I use it for dance competitions or recitals, there is a line right here. So I do need to get a new one because this one is too dark. And I have really pale skin, by the way, so... Um, moving on to my powders. I have this one, which is my favorite one. It is the Maybelline New York Fit Me powder. And it's in the shade Ivory. So it just looks like this. And this is also my most recent one. But when you open it up, and there is like one of these little things, which I don't use, but I mean, you could... So that's what that is for. Then the next one I have, you have seen this in my first video, it is the Revlon Color Stay Powder. It just looks like this. And it is in the shade Light Pale. Yeah. If I could open it, I would show you, but... Okay. So it just looks like this. And again, like the other one. You can flip it up and then they give you like a powder thing, so... That's a plus. Then the next one I have is actually from my mom. Because I like to take some of her stuff just because she doesn't use it all that much. So this is just the Rimmel London Stay Matte Pressed Powder. It just looks like this. Very simple. So moving on to eyeshadows. I have... All together I believe I have five eyeshadows. But I gave one of my like smaller palettes to my mom. Just because she'll get more use out of it than I will. So this one is just the Maybelline New York. I used this in my first video. And it is the Hushed Tints one. Yeah. And it comes with eight colors. I also love this one for a neutral as well. It is just the Naked... Er, bleh, bleh. This is just the Naked Urban Decay Basics palette. And for some reason I find this so hard to open. Okay, there we go. So it just looks like this. And it has very neutral colors, as you can tell. It has... Um, Venus Foxy WOS Naked 2 Faint and Crave. Um, I don't use the black all that much, but I mean, you could, so yeah. 
I'm sorry that I keep looking over there. It's just because the viewfinder is over there and uh, I really need to flip that over. But okay. So moving on to my next one. I use this most of the time just because we always have to use this one for dance competitions and recitals. But is the Revlon Color Stay in Goddess. Just looks like this. And it comes with a white, like a shimmery one that you could use in your brow bone. Or it comes with a pink, gray, and black. This one is also the Revlon. That's basically all it says. Oh, this one is in Wild Orchids. And I'm actually wearing this one right now. Um, I don't know if you can tell. I took this one from my mom as well. It just looks like this. And it comes with a light pink, light purple, uh, pink and purple mixed together, and then like a dark burgundy color. So, and this is a creamy eyeshadow. Okay, moving on to mascaras. I will admit I have a lot of mascaras. Um, yeah, I just have a lot of mascaras. Okay, so my very first mascara that I ever got is actually the One by One Volume Express. I Maybelline New York mascara. It just looks like this. I use this one as much as I possibly could until I ran out. But I love the brush on this one so much. I use this all the time until it ran out. But yeah, okay, so it looks like this. And my hand is like very veiny right now. I apologize about that. But yeah. So ugh, it's really old. I need to throw this out. But um the one thing I have to say about this one is just that it stinks. Like, not in quality-wise, but, like, it stinks. I don't know why, but, yeah. Okay, so, the next max... I cannot talk today for some reason. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so, the next... The next mascara I have is the CoverGirl Bombshell Volume by Lash Blast. And it is the, like, duo mascara thing. I usually use the first side because, I don't know, I I don't use the like, fabric, I guess you could call it, mascaras, like this side. I usually use the like plastic ones a lot more. Don't ask because I don't know why. But yeah, so the first one is the plastic and the second is the fabric one. So the next mascara I have is the... CoverGirl Clump Crusher Extensions Lash Blast, and it looks like this, and it is a plastic one again, and I love the brush on this. I love brushes that have a lot of bristles because it separates all your lashes, and it won't be very clumpy, which is why it's called Clump Crusher. Alright, so my next two mascaras are these two, and it is just the Voluminous Million Lashes, and it looks like this. It's very shiny. <laughs> and it is plastic again. This one has like a million bristles, which I don't know if I'm right, but that's probably why it says Voluminous Million Lashes because there's a million bristles. But um, yeah, so it just looks like this. And I love it so much. But this one is waterproof, so I only use it if I'm going to go swimming because it is a pain to get waterproof mascara off. So, I have this one that's waterproof and this one that's waterproof. It is the Maybelline New York, the Rocket Volume Express Waterproof Mascara. And, once again, plastic and lots of bristles. Looks like this. Now, the last mascara I have, I love so much. I usually use this one for my bottom lashes just because, I don't know why, it works better on them. Um, this is the Roller Lash by Benefit Mascara. Let me tell you, it works miracles. So, I don't normally use this on my top lashes. I don't know why, but yeah. It's a good mascara. If you're going to get one mascara out of all of those, you should get this one. Just saying. So, moving on. Oh, I forgot to mention when I was mentioning the powders. I also have this one by CoverGirl. It is my very first one. It's old in the Fresh Complexion Pocket Powder Foundation. Okay, moving on to lipsticks. Um, I have 
three lipsticks and one lip gloss. The one lip gloss I have is this Baby Lips Brilliant, I guess, by Maybelline New York. I love this because the color is amazing, but the application is brilliant. Like, so it looks like this. I don't know if that helps you understand the color better, but it's like a pinky nude. I love it. So I'll usually use that on like a normal day or something. So the next one is probably my favorite one. I am wearing it right now. Um, but I love this one. It is by Essence in the shade Wearing Only a Smile. So it just looks like this. I like it because it's like, it's like a nude, I would say. It's like a very, very light nude more than a pink. But I like that one. And the next two I have are in the Color Whisper collection and it looks like this. And the first one is in the shade Petal Rebel, and it is a pink, just a normal pink. And the second one I have is more of a neutral toned um, lipstick, it just looks like this, and it is in the shade Coral Ambition. I also have this Revlon lipstick in the shade Love That Pink. It's not really a pink, it's more of a red. And this is the one we use for dance competitions. That's basically the only reason why I have it. But it's there. So now moving on to my concealers. I only have two concealers. But I like them a lot. So I use them. So the first one I have is the Maybelline New York New Instant Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles. And it is in the shade Fair Claire. I love this one a lot. The next one I have is the Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer. And this is in the shade Fair Claire. But I love this one so much. This, that one was more like a sponge kind of thing. And this is more like, I don't know what kind of application this is. But I love this one. I used it today. And I love it. So you should get that concealer. Then for blushes, don't ask why. But I do have three of the same blush. Because... My mom ordered three online, and we use these, this blush for um, dance competitions and stuff. Anyways, it just looks like this. It is the NYX blush in the shade Desert Rose, so that's a good one. A little bit too dark, though, for a normal day, but it's a good blush. So the next blush I like is the Sonia Kashuk blush, and it looks like this. Um... I don't really know what it's called because the little sticker thing on the back is covering it up for some reason. But yeah, it's basically just like a bright pink color and I like this one a lot. If you're going to use it, I would recommend that you only use a little bit just because it can be very harsh sometimes. And the next thing I have is the Maybelline New York Master Glaze by Face Studio and it looks like this and it's just like a stick kind of blush and you just put it on and then rub it in. It gives you a little bit more of a shine on your cheeks and yeah. I say and yeah a lot by the way. So yeah. Oh my god I just did it again. Okay so anyways the next thing I have is actually a bronzer by Maybelline New York Master Highlight by Face Studio and it looks like this. I like this one a lot. I love this bronzer because it's not too dark, it's not too light. You can really use this for any skin, just saying. And once again, you can flip this up and then there's a mirror. So, oh, I forgot to mention what shade this was in, but it is in the shade Light Bronze. So the next thing I have is not really a brush, but it's a sponge, and it is this one. Um, it is just a beauty blender, any normal beauty blender. Then the next thing I have is just an eyelash curler. I normally use this just because my eyelashes do not naturally curl. I don't know why. Like, I've tried everything and they're just flat. So, I use this one when I'm putting on mascara. Next thing I have is just a normal pair of tweezers. And eyelash glue. Okay, so the next thing I have are eyeliners. I only have two. And I have one liquid, one pencil. And... The first one is the liquid one that I use for dance and stuff. It is the Redline Colorstay Skinny. 
eyeliner and I'll show you what it looks like. It just looks like this. Um, it has a very skinny point so if you want like a very perfect winged eyeliner then I do like this one. Then for the pencil I just have this one and just looks like this. I used this one in my first video and it's waterproof so that is a plus. So yeah, that is all I have in my makeup collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said before, I'm not trying to brag at all. Most of the makeup I get is just from drugstores like Walgreens or Target. I don't get my makeup from very expensive places. Um, but yeah, it's just drugstore. And like, I mean, there are beauty gurus that have a lot of makeup, like a whole bunch. They have like a whole dresser full of makeup. I am not going to end up like that because that is just expensive. So. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please give it a thumbs up, and leave more comments down below of video ideas so that I know what you guys would like to see. Don't forget to subscribe down below, and I think that's it, so bye! Hey guys, so I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded in a while. I've just been so busy, and I know that's not an excuse, but I'm trying to get in the habit of recording things better and uploading it faster. Bye!